Liam Smith with Agent Smith Voice Productions. Whilst I'm researching my scary sounds of the Middle Ages video, I'm taking a look at the biggest gun ever used in combat, the Schwer. This beast was first conceived before the outbreak of World War II, with the sole purpose of destroying the main forts of the French Maginot Line and penetrating its several layers of reinforced concrete. Construction of the gun began in 1934 by the German steel manufacturer Klupp and completed in 1941. This monster weighed 1,350 tons with a barrel that was 32 and a half meters long. It could fire armor-piercing shells that weighed seven tons, a staggering 47 kilometers at a muzzle velocity of 820 meters per second. Each shell was taller than two men and twice as wide. Two such heavy railway guns were constructed. Schwer Gustav was free, but the second gun, Dora, which saw operation at Stalingrad, but eventually withdrawn, was a total cost of 7 million Reichmarks, or roughly $30 million today. The first test firing was on the 10th of September 1941. During one of these tests, the gun fired a 7-ton armor-piercing shell 23 miles. Schwer Gustav experienced combat for the first time during the Siege of Sevastopol on July 1942. After five weeks of positioning the massive gun, which required the input of 4,000 men, the weapon was ready for action. On the 6th of June, the massive gun targeted Whitecliffe, an undersea ammunition magazine in Sevastopol's northern bay. The magazine was situated 30 meters under the sea with 10 meters of reinforced concrete. Nine armor-piercing shells were fired and the magazine was destroyed along with one of the boats in the bay. In just five days, from the 5th to the 17th of June, Schwer Gustav caused immense damage, targeting ammunition magazines and forts. It fired 48 shells during the siege, which equated to seven tons per shell, or 336 tons of spent ammunition. After the siege's conclusion, a total of 30,000 tons of munitions was fired from a range of different calibers, including those fired from Schwer Gustav. The heavy railway gun was eventually transported to Leningrad, which was also under siege, but when it was ready to be deployed, the attack was called off, and the gun was stowed away during the winter. But for all its destructive power, Schwer Gustav was not without major drawbacks. Firstly, it had to run on a railway chassis with specially designed tracks, which took 2,000 to 4,500 men to lay down. Not only that, the gun needed 250 men to assemble it, which took three and a half days. 500 men were required to operate it, and Schwer Gustav could only fire 14 rounds a day, or one round every 30 to 45 minutes. The gun could only move up or down at an elevation of 48 degrees, and the first barrel needed replacing after already firing 250 rounds during testing. Perhaps the biggest disadvantage was that it presented itself as an easy target for Allied bombers. Eventually, Schwer Gustav was captured and destroyed on the 14th of April 1945 by the Americans, and its ruins were discovered 50 kilometers southwest of Hemnitz on the 22nd of April 1945. This soon fell into Soviet occupation, and its remains were transported and studied at Merseburg by Soviet specialists. The second gun, Dora, met the same fate. It too was destroyed on the 19th of April 1945. Its remains were found by American troops sometime after the discovery of Schwer Gustav. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I really enjoy making these videos. And don't forget to give us a like and to subscribe for more content. You can also help support my channel by subscribing to my Patreon or donating to my PayPal. The links are in the description box down below. Finally, to my awesome subscribers, your contribution and ongoing support has been so helpful, it really means the world to me. Liam Smith with Agent Smith Voice Productions. Until then, stay tuned. I'll see you next time.